You're moving to Kelowna, but you don't know which neighborhood to call home. Today, we're ranking all the Kelowna neighborhoods from worst to best. At the tail end of our list is Rutland. Rutland is located in the northeast part of Kelowna, and any Kelowna resident will know why Rutland is in the back of this list. Rutland is known for having a bit of a higher crime rate, some pretty old houses, and it's a very densely populated part of town. But I believe that Rutland has a lot going for it though, such as being close to the airport and also being one of the closer parts of town to Big White. So if you're a snowboarder or skier, this is an advantage. To get to Big White, it's only about a half hour drive, give or take, from Rutland. Oh, and also, you're close to the highway, so if you're heading north a lot out of town, then Rutland's in a good location for you. The real estate is also more affordable in Rutland, especially compared to other areas of town. On average, the benchmark price for real estate is around 638,000 right now. So if you're looking to get started with real estate in Kelowna, Rutland could be a very good option for you. Next on the list is the Springfield Spa area. In my opinion, this part of town can be a logistical nightmare for you. Located just off the highway between the downtown core and Rutland, it sits at an awkward crossroads, which makes for some pretty crazy traffic in this area, especially in the summer months. Positives of this area is that you are very close to the largest mall in town, Orchard Park, not to mention close to the Okanagan College. Real estate in this area is a good mix between townhomes, strata, and some single family. The benchmark price for this area around town is around $620,600. While we're on the topic of logistical issues, let's talk about the West Bank. West Bank is the heart and soul of West Kelowna. There are a lot of desirable features here, such as being close to the water, tons of shopping options, and an infinite amount of wineries nearby. However, if you plan on commuting often across the bridge to Kelowna, don't choose the West Bank. The summer brings ridiculous amounts of traffic to the highway, which happens to run straight through the middle of the West Bank. Last summer, after doing a winery tour, it took us over an hour to drive across the bridge back to Kelowna. With no traffic, this should be taking 10 minutes. I would absolutely not mind living here if I didn't have to go downtown so often. Benchmark prices for the West Bank currently sit at $607,000, so it is one of the most affordable areas to be in all of Kelowna. Next on the list is Kelowna's downtown center. For the sake of simplicity, I'll be combining Kelowna North with the city center. This area comprises of mostly strata, but has a few cute older homes from the 1950s and onwards. It comes as no surprise that there is a ridiculous amount of things to do in this part of town. I mean, from food to shopping and recreation, downtown has it all. This of course comes at a cost. Lots of summer traffic can be an issue, especially during the summer seasons. It also appears that homelessness has been getting worse in the downtown center, but if you're cool with walking everywhere you need to go, this should be the number one on your list. Average prices here float from 700 to 750K. Keep in mind that that's mostly condos. Number two on the list is Glenmore. Now personally, this would be my number one. As you guys know, I live here, but we need to be objective with the video. Glenmore is located just north of Kelowna and it's about a 10 minute drive from downtown. You get a huge mix of living here, from condos to single family homes and even farms. That's right, you heard me correctly country and city living rolled into one. Glenmore is also super close to UBCO and it has its own shopping centers, not to mention it's also super close to the airport. The benchmark averages for real estate in the Glenmore area currently sit at around $857,000. So for Kelowna, that's about mid-range pricing. Now let's talk about the number one place to live in Kelowna, 
and that's Mission. It is comprised of Upper and Lower Mission and is located south of downtown along the coast of Lake Okanagan. This is a very desirable part of town to live for so many due to its proximity to so many wineries and beaches. This place is the peak of what Kelowna represents for so many people. It has its own shopping centers and is in close proximity to any necessities. The only drawback I can think of for Mission is the real estate prices. Lower Mission, you can expect an $810,000 average. And Upper Mission, you can expect just shy of $1.3 million average. If money ain't a thang, this is the spot for you. Guys, if you like this video, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Comment what you think the best neighborhoods in Kelowna are, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. And also keep in mind, this is just my personal opinion. See ya.